Greetings, I'm Sharon Goodman Hill with the Daily Home Bible reading for Friday, November 1st, 2024, titled Hope in the Lord Forever, found in the Psalms 130 and 131. You all, this passage today, full of so many great nuggets, and also all of these Daily Home Bible readings leading up to Sunday's lesson really helped me and made me go back and reflect on a time in my life when I was feeling so burdened, so cast down, so destroyed. I had just moved to Columbus, Mississippi, started a new radio job at the time. I was excited about the job, but again, I felt like my life was just in shambles. And so I would go to church every Tuesday night. I would go home for the weekends. Now, I was going to church when I went home, but on Tuesday nights, I would be in Columbus and I would go and hear Evangelist Gloria Jameson. She was bringing the word of God and Every message seemed like it was just right to me, and I found myself at the altar every Tuesday night, and I started to get embarrassed because I felt like I was going every night, but I needed it so badly, you all, so when that word would come, it would convict. It was just like in Hebrews. The word of God is a two-edged sword, you all. It was cutting and healing me all at the same time. I got embarrassed, though, and I started praying like, Lord, it seemed like I'm the only one of my friends going to the altar. I'm at the altar every week. And the Lord spoke to me and said, you go to that altar as much as you need to go. And thank the Lord I did. That was such a time of restoration for me. I put my faith and my hope and my trust in the Lord. And it's the same for us today. Like that third verse says in the NLT, Lord, if you've kept a record of our sins, who, O oh Lord, could ever survive? I have the answer for that. None of us would survive without the Lord's mercy and grace. So I thank God for having hope in the Lord forever. And we can all do that same thing. Put our faith, our hope, our trust in the Lord. God bless you today, saints. And thank you for the pleasure of your time.